Hi, Michelle Glass here. Welcome back to another one of our chapter 13, lecture 13 videos. Our discussion for today are those neuronal pools. Now, neuronal pools are uh, functional groups of interconnected neurons that are transmitting information. So we're basically looking at patterns of how neurons connect to other neurons. Kind of in our you know, discussion so far, we've sort of made it look and sound like it's one cell to one cell. Um, and it's not always that simplistic of a diagram. So we are looking at five different types of neural circuits. We have divergence and convergence, and these are basically opposites of each other. Um, the word divergence means to split in two, and convergence means two paths coming together. We have what's called serial processing, parallel processing, processing, and reverberation. Okay, in the case of divergence, this is a neuronal circuit where one neuron um, begins to synapse on several, and so we can see that it's splitting more and more and more as it goes. Now, divergence is important in getting the broad distribution of some very specific information so that it can easily spread throughout the body. One example of this would be sensory information coming into the central nervous system. Convergence is the opposite. So this is where you have several neurons synapsing onto a single neuron. So bringing that information in together to one neuron. An example of this is both the conscious and the unconscious control of motor neurons. So we can have several what are called upper neurons synapsing onto the same lower neurons, which then that low uh, motor neuron is just going out to the same skeletal muscle. So you might have um, some consciously controlled neurons synapsing onto that neuron, and then some unconsciously neurons synapsing onto the same. So we'll talk about this more as we get into some motor pathways in the future. Serial processing is, I think, kind of the picture we've presented um, in all previous discussions, where you have a neuron which synapses onto a neuron, which synapses onto another neuron. Um, this is essentially the way that sensory information will make its way to the brain. Parallel processing, excuse me, parallel processing is where you have a simultaneous processing of the same information. So you can have one stimulus but multiple responses. So maybe in the case of, you know, stepping on a nail, you might have to switch feet so you can pick your left foot up and put your right foot down. You may say ow or some other colorful language and you may have to, you know, check out your surroundings, look at your foot and so forth. So you may have several responses happening to one single stimulus. And reverberation is a nice example of positive feedback mechanism. So this can be used to maintain consciousness or like the muscular coordination of normal breathing. So notice that you have one neuron synapsing to a second neuron, which not only synapses onto a third neuron, but also goes back and synapses onto the first one in line, keeping that stimulus going. Okay, that's it for now.